an example on maximizing my blade, okay? So I may maximize the amount that my blade is covering me for safety. So my tip is at my head, okay, and this is to here. So I'm safe from my hip to my head, right? Yeah. But if I get low, now I'm safe from my knee to my head, okay? So when it comes to maximizing my blade offensively or defensively, I may want to maximize my blade offensively. If I fully extend it, I've maximized my range at the cost of fully open, below, and above. Okay? So, I may not want to sacrifice my defense unless I need to. So, if I keep this coverage, okay, and I get to here and I can hit you like this without sacrificing my coverage, then good. There's no need for me to fully extend. That makes sense. This finally makes sense to me. Versus Why it, you hit like that. Yes. Versus if you retreat, now I might start to maximize for what I need to. Because I'm also getting safer because you're getting farther away from me. So and this the basically risk becomes a buckler. Yes. So the risk to reward ratio also becomes better because I'm gaining offense, but I'm also gaining defense by you getting farther away from me. Okay? Now, if I hit you, okay, so boom, say I hit you with a full extension, okay, now defensively, I need to maximize my blade coverage, so instead of just retreating like this, I am going to pull my tip back and create this wall, right? So yeah. I'm more protected. Now, if I also hit you, and I do that, and I sink lower, then now I'm even safer, okay? So I'm maximizing the amount of coverage of my blade. It's just like if I had a shield, okay, and I'm holding my shield here like this, I'm covered from here to here on my shield, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't want to hold my shield like this because now I'm available under and above. One thing that drives me crazy that people do, I think I have a shield down here. Right there. Okay, one thing that drives me fucking up the wall that people with the shield do is this. Okay, this is horrible because I'm wasting half my blade covering the same area that my shield is. Okay, so instead I should be using more area of coverage instead of just wasting it. So like this is just wasting my blade if we're yeah. talking about a defensive sense, right? So I want to maximize my shield. Another thing is, is if I'm like this, now I'm not maximizing my guard on my hand, okay? So it's the same thing. So you almost want to have the shield and then you have your own cone of defense along with it. Correct. And for the dagger, okay, if I'm like this with my dagger, you know, then I'm wasting my dagger's defense. Instead, I want to use this extra area of the dagger to cover my hand instead of just overlapping, right? So now I'm using this extra coverage. So like you had said earlier with the buckler, so the way that I use a sword, especially the way that I use case, is I imagine that it's a buckler that I can stab with and this is my shield. Yep. So when I'm using two swords, it was the same as before, okay, if I, have it, if I have a buckler, there's nothing to stab here, right? And most people are cutting around their buckler, they're winding around the buckler, but they don't do it when they have another sword in their hand for some reason. So when I fight case, I do it like sword and buckler, where this is just a buckler I can stab with, so I'm stabbing with my buckler as I'm winding You like doing the, uh, for the cuts. buckler, um... The buckler flourishes. Yeah, those flourishes. Yeah, so you're sitting here like this, and you're stabbing at the same time that you're cutting. I have to look up those buckler flourishes again. And then you don't even really have to think about the, the case part, which this is you know one way to do case, because you're just stabbing in the middle of your cuts, right? So you're creating an offense and a defense. And you basically just let this, the, the flourish hand on autopilot, and you're manually using your buckler, quote unquote. Correct, and then anytime there is that opening, then you can just, you know, exploit it.
So then when we talk about maximizing the use of a two-handed rapier, right? You should be maximizing your grip as well. And you should be maximizing this as protection. Sometimes I will parry here with this in order. You want to maximize the use of all your weapons. So I'm maximizing it offensively when I need to, but I'm maximizing it defensively until I need to use it offensively. Oh. Attack and then retreat? Yep, correct. So so right now your nope, your blade is maximi is more maximized offensively than defensively, because you're like right here. Yeah. Right? So maximize your coverage because you're still in a defensive action, right? That's too high. There you go, that's a little bit better. You can go a little bit more. And now you can go lower. Right? Your your sword. Lower your hand. There you go. Like that. Okay. And now the lower you are, the more you can tilt it a little forward too. Okay, and then now come forward with your feet, boom, and then extend. But when you extend, don't do this dip. Extend forward and straight like that. Not quite. So look. So if I dip, I'm sacrificing. If I just bring my tip forward, then I'm still keeping that coverage. Okay, so it's... There you go. Good. Okay, and go ahead and take two steps back real quick. Okay, boom, same thing again. Okay, and then now start your extension, and if I step back, then extend further. There you go. Good, and then on the way out, bring your tip back up. A lot of times, instead of bringing your hand back, just pull that wrist up. Here, I'll let me back up and we can do that again. So, from here, just yep. So this will still can still come down because you're also going to lower your body so you have less targets, and then and that as well. So when I extend it, there you go. Okay. And then it keeps you strong as well. Yep. Again. I'm going to have to get my legs a lot stronger. Now, also that. get used to uh, on guard. So being here, so no new hole opens, right? Especially if I'm mirroring your steps, no new hole opens, okay? I use my feet to close, and then I only extend when I have to. Yep. So this is why so much I'm here, and I'm just using my feet, and then I save my quick extension. Instead of using my quick extension to gain the weapon, and then using my feet, which is slower to hit you, and then I throw my defense out the window. That's why I've been struggling with that shit. And that's why it's been easier when I do the extension less. Yeah. So sometimes that, sword, that body before sword is easier and better, but you have to make sure that you're covered when you do it. Step forward, don't extend yet. Step forward, good, okay, which prompts me to retreat. Now when you extend your arm, you're also catching me in tempo. And then you have your lunge. So now you have three separate distances that I have to compensate for really quick. And you probably can't retreat out of that. Correct, and then I'll recover properly. Very good. Good, again. that. And then it's real hard for me to adjust. Watch, I'll show you. So if I'm here, okay, so I'm, so you're going to just retreat from my attack if I extend, right? And then I hear it, and you're going to retreat again, okay? So I'll come back. So I extend and you retreat, boom, just like that, okay? Versus if I go, if I go from here, mm -hmm. and I go here, and you try and retreat, and then you Oh yeah, that you go action. right into that. Okay, and then it's like, you're like, oh, I didn't compensate for that last part, right? Because it's three movements. Now it's it's step, you know, mm -hmm. extend or lunge and extend. So you're trying to compensate for three different distances instead of just being like, check out my range. Now here's my slowest movement. 
And if I've spent my fastest movement, then now when you retreat, your speed of your foot is going against the speed of my foot, which might be equal. Versus if I use my speed of the foot to get you to use your speed of the foot, now you have to compensate for the speed of my hand, and then I get to go again. Yeah. Because I've landed. It lets you steal a tempo. Correct. Fascinating. So you want to do what's called maximizing your blade? Yeah. So if you attack me and I parry like this, I'm not maximizing the amount of defense for the blade coverage that I have because here and here is exposed. Right? Oh, Versus right. if you attack me and I go here and I have my tip out. all the way to my head, and now I'm safe from here to here. Okay, so that's just completely locking that out. Yep. So pretty much the question you want to ask yourself when you parry is how much of your body do you want to cover? How much of a threat do you want to possess? How much of a threat do you want to present? And how much time do you want to have on your repose? So for example, if you attack me and I go here, okay, I'm covered from my hip to here, so I'm covered a lot. I'm presenting a decent amount of a threat. And I don't have too long in order to hit you, too long of a distance to travel to hit you, right? Yeah. Versus if you attack me and I go here, okay, I'm presenting a lot of a threat. I don't have much time to hit you, but I'm not as covered. Or if you attack and I go full steel wall parry, okay, now I'm very covered. But you're not. But I'm not presenting much of a threat, and uh, it's going to take a lot longer to hit you. So that's this is just the best of both of those. Depending on the situation, right. that's one that I mostly prefer. So I usually, because it, it depends. It also depends on if you use your feet or not, and whether you're doing your parry as an offensive action during the defensive time, or if you're doing it as a fully defensive action. Like so, say for an example, you have completely overwhelmed me. You caught me in tempo of the foot, and I and I can't retreat. Right? Then when you attack. Boom, I might full steel wall parry. Yeah. And go here. Because, like, reposting, you, you fucked me on my repost. That's not an option. So, just staying alive is my option. So, I'm putting all my points there. Versus, if you attacked me and I step back the right amount of distance, then you're I'm all here, set up. Then I'm all set up, right? I'm good to go. Okay. Or, if you attack me and I just, like, know my timing, then I'm here. Because that's more, you can go in more to an absolution parry. Correct. Because like then it's like, I'm going to go into an, an immediate repost. So you want to like ask yourself in the situation, you know, you got like a gauge of like danger and like the higher the danger or however much more you need to sacrifice. So it's like low danger, mid danger, high danger. Correct. Then you, it's also the same offensively, how much, because you're trying to, you want to maximize your blade for, for your weapon for the moment, right? So mm -hmm. offensively, I should be maximizing my blade. Defensively, I should be maximizing my blade. But there's the give and the take. So for an example, if I want to attack you and I'm being offensive, right? Yeah. Here would be full offensive blade, right? But yeah. at the cost of my defense. Or do I want to gain the weapon and come in and, and, and keep my body safe like this, tip from my face, keep my body safe like this, right? Where now I have a lot of coverage and then I only extend as much as I need to and sacrifice as much coverage as I need to hit you. So like right here, I still have coverage up to my eyebrow and I only extend it a little bit in order to hit you, right? Yeah. But this is one reason why being low can be so useful and important is because you can actually maximize the amount that your weapon can cover you by having less targets. So if I'm really low, right? So like when I'm in like a tournament or I'm serious or whatever, like I'm really low, my sword is almost at my knee and my blade is at my head. So now when we come in, right, I can sacrifice more of this and I still have enough coverage yeah. just because I'm low. Because you need less to cover. Because you need less. To and that's also the advantage of being small. Correct. Correct. Okay. So that's pretty much the gist of it on, on maximizing.